Arus, who had somehow found herself in a magical world, just couldn't accept the witch's reason for capturing fairies. Finding herself with nowhere to go, Arus encountered an Eku fairy and was able to have him grant her a wish. But in exchange for that wish, she lost the precious book her father gave her, the one that would help her to become a magician. Big deal. You just stole it from some magic library, right? Now, wait a sec. I would never do anything like that. Hey, hold up. Do you think maybe that book could be from this world? You're not seriously <gasps> asking that, are you? Huh? That book is a Bible for apprentice witches. Where else could something like this be from? <sighs> hey, are you listening? I'm gonna go look for it. Arus, wait! What's up with her? So tell us, who is that girl? Well, uh, no matter who she is, I'm pretty sure she doesn't have a book of spells anymore. What? If it was precious or important to her, it would have vanished at the exact same moment her wish was granted in exchange for whatever the wish was. Vanished? Where does it go? Who knows? And we'll never be able to find out either. Why did it have to be my bad luck to be given the burden of granting children their annoying wishes? I ask myself all the time and it's still just as much of a mystery to me. Ugh. What do you mean, nice outside? Um, mm. ah, I'm going home after breakfast, okay? Huh? This is a cool magical world and all, but I bet Yoko's really missing me right about now. Who's Yoko? Mm, she's my mother. Um, she's a real piece of work, you know? She can't seem to do a thing without my help. Go home, but how? Oh, yeah, what was her name, uh, add to something or other? You mean Atelia? Right, that one. Well, I'll just have a heart-to-heart -heart with the old lady. She looks like a big shot. Maybe she can figure out a way to get me home. Huh? And hey, you don't have to worry about a thing. I'll tell her you guys had no idea I was human. Hey, just a minute. She's never gonna buy that kind of story. Are you... Thanks for breakfast. Hey, what's the matter, Arus? I couldn't fly yesterday, even though I got on the broom. Maybe that means humans ought to stay in the human realm where they belong. Arus! You should have stayed right where you were. I hear you've lost the Book of Spells. Guess you already know everything, then. Including the fact that I'm human. I would like to ask you something. Where did you get that book of spells? Excuse me? 
You mean, why did my dad have something like that? Dad? Dad? You mean your father, Arus? It was my fifth birthday, and Dad gave that book to me as a present. Huh? Yo, that's pretty cool, huh? I mean, it's a book to teach apprentice witches about magic and stuff, right? So why would my dad end up with a book that should only be in this world? It doesn't make any sense. I'm a human. I'm afraid that book isn't merely a Bible for apprentice witches to learn from. Huh? It oh. is a book that has been passed down through the ages. The only one of its kind. It is the true book of spells. She had such a powerful book? Just more than 10 years ago, the true book of spells was stolen and it has never been recovered. Wait a sec. So are you trying to say that it was my dad who stole it? Okay, then explain this. How did my dad get into this world in the first place? And then how the heck did he get back to the human world? This man you speak of, you said he was your father. Where is he now? I wish I could help you, but I really don't know. He left when I was little, and never came back. Now, if there is some way to get back to the human world, I want you to tell me! The fact that you were able to come here and use magic must have something to do with the power contained in that book. Huh? Wait! You mean without the book, there's nothing we can do? Are you saying it'll be impossible for me to use magic, or to go home unless I have that book? That can't be true! Huh? Arus, you said so yourself. Anyone can use magic if they believe with all their heart. It's gonna be okay. I know you'll be able to use magic. All right? So let's live together. Let's study magic together. Eva. Now wait a minute. This one's gonna interfere with our fairy capturing. How can we live with someone like that? Wait. I used these myself when I was an apprentice witch. Huh? I will make an exception and allow you to live here. Atelia! But we must hide the fact that this girl is human. It must be a secret between all of us. Even the Grand Master must never find out. Oh, yay! This is great, Arus! E yeah. Why are you going so far to help her? I'm entrusting her to you, Sheila. Atelia? Starting today, a new member of the Chick class will be training with us. Yoo-hoo! I'm Arus. Nice to meet you. Woohoo! Dazzle! <laughs> Hi! Welcome to the class, Hi. Arus! <laughs> Woo! Shut up! Ah, oh. oh, jeez. Don't tell me you're the teacher, Sheila. I'm the discipline officer. Now sit yourself oh, down. Oh, man, you are on such a power trip. All right. Turn to page 256 in your books. We'll start with the fireball spell. <gasps> For this spell, we'll be using fur from this Ignis fairy. Mm. Ah! Hey! Oh. Oh. They're gonna figure out that you're human. Yeah, but that's... Alpha Combat Begon Deota! <gasps> now you try. Aren't you going to try? Of course I am. Uh, ah! Oh no, my hand slipped. The thingy got out. What are you doing? <laughs> huh? Melissa said she was going to show us the oh, biggest no. flame anyone ever saw and cast the fireball spell on <sighs> that rock. <laughs> Melissa, I showed you the fire extinguishing spell last week. Can't anyone here cast a water spell or something? Don't butt huh? in. What? And you call yourself a teacher? You're responsible for your own magic. Witches have to be self-reliant. That's <sighs> what magic is about. I can't put it what in! What kind of person are you? Listen, fires can be put out without magic. Don't just stand there staring. Help her! Come on! Hold tight! Hot! Hot! Now you've gone and spoiled her. Huh? If you left her, she might have figured out the fire extinguishing spell. And if she died trying, what would be the point? 
What happens, happens. Do you even know what you sound like? In this world, your value is determined by how well you can use magic. The only big shots here are the ones with magical skills. Those without are doomed to unhappy lives. And if you can't protect yourself, it's only a matter of time before you end up dead. What kind of baloney is that? Why don't you use your magic to help each other out? Arus! <laughs> That's how it is, and I'm gonna change things. Uh, I'm gonna go all out and learn this magic stuff and make everyone happy. go all out and learn magic and make everyone happy. What you're saying is contradictory. Yeah, how? Well, you're totally against us catching fairies, right? That's right. Taking away a living creature's freedom is the worst. But without taking away the fairy's freedom, there's no way that magic can happen. Huh? What do you mean? Go on, tell her. Um, okay. Arus, it means that along with incantations, we need certain fairy body parts in order to cast magical spells. Oh, yeah. I kind of remember you guys mentioning something like that. Um, for example, you know the spell that lets you fly on a broom? Yeah, yeah, that's the one I really wanted to learn today. What about it? For that to work, you need a feather from a fairy called a griffin. A griffin's feather? In other words, before you can fly up in the sky on a broomstick, you've got to catch a griffin and pluck one of its feathers. Oh. And yet here you are saying idealistic things like we shouldn't take away a fairy's freedom. That's what I mean by contradictory. We witches have always upheld our magical traditions through the necessary sacrifice of fairies. <laughs> I know! We'll get you a feather as a present, Arus. Ah, but I can't let you do that. Quid pro quo? A deal? Let's make a deal if the price is right? <sighs> Whatever, just shut up. Oh, look! Sheila! There, I see a griffin! <sighs> okay, we're gonna capture it and regain our honor. <laughs> What's that? <sighs> it's just so uncool. Sheila, it's the Breaker Pilots! Those dropout losers. <sighs> <sighs> what do you good-for-nothing lowlifes think you're doing here? Don't interfere with our capture! Huh? I didn't hear a word you said! I can't hear a word you're saying either! Those scum! I'm warning you as discipline officer! I'm forbidding you to fly under any circumstance in District A! Hey, hold up now! The sky belongs to everyone! Those who disrupt the airspace have no right to fly! Not cool! We're against all forms of dictatorship! It's not negotiable! If I catch you here again, I'll report you to Atelia right away, and don't you forget it! Come on, Sheila, for heaven's sake! How can you call yourself a witch? Hmm? I told you before that a witch should be all about how much she smiles and how happy she makes other people. Don't tell me you aren't able to do anything else but act like the North Wind. North Wind? Yeah, you know, it's just like that lame bunch said. The sky belongs to everyone. But what do you do? Forbid them to fly? Who gave you that kind of authority? You can say naive things like that because you don't know a thing. Huh? Listen, those guys are just dropouts who make other people's lives miserable. If I don't crack down on them like that, they'll just cause more trouble. Even so, there's got to be a better way to handle it. That's all I'm saying. Well, this is my way of handling it, so just shut up. Hey, come on, Sheila G. Arus, this is just something we can't do anything about. <sighs> What did she do now? Arus ran away and went to go join the biker pilots! Huh? <laughs> she can't even fly on her own and she... What are we gonna do? Leave her. But Sheila... It just goes to show how serious she really was. Mm. I'm reporting this to Atelia. Hey, wait a minute! Those guys! I think they've come to catch the Griffin! Let's go. It sure feels amazing, flying in the sky as free as a bird. Doesn't it? But still, if you can't even fly on your own, you must...
must be one hopeless loser. Hey, I'd love to be able to fly, but the, um, griffin, was it? I bet it wants to fly freely in the sky, too. And just the thought of that makes me not want to fly if it means I have to go and capture it and everything. Right! Totally! Huh? When we were little and they first gave us our feathers, we had no idea that a fairy's freedom had been taken away just so it could be plucked for us. But once we found out about that, we started wondering whether it was really worth going so far just to use magic, you know what I mean? I mean, who wants to have their freedom taken away, right? <sighs> That's why we never made it past that first flying spell they taught us. And before we knew it, everyone started calling us flunkers and dropouts. That must have been rough. And that stupid Sheila! Well, it's true that wasn't the best way to handle it, but... Well, the thing is, Sheila's got something to protect, too, you know? She's got to try to save face. <sighs> Whose side are you on, anyway? <laughs> I'm on everyone's side, because I'm a champion of justice. You really are an oddball, you know that? <laughs> All right, troops, let's take to the skies one more time! <sighs> You know, when you think about it, I mean the fairies. Ugh. Does it really matter who captures them? Don't be stupid. Sheila, look! We found you, Griffin Fairy. That won't help you. Hey, all we need are its feathers, right? Let's grill the thing and have it for lunch. <laughs> Your only goal should be to capture it, understand? And don't treat it harshly. What about them? A couple of annoying twerps just showed up. Just ignore them. This is our way of doing it, so just shut your pie holes. Then we'll stop you physically. <sighs> hey, move it! I, I said get out of the way! You little pain in the butt! <clears throat> How dare you! <clears throat> Make everyone happy with your magic, my butt. Huh? Nothing but garbage comes out of your mouth. Every single thing that you do is the complete opposite of learning magic. Yeah, but one of these days, I'll figure out a better way. A way to use magic without having to take away the fairy's freedom to do it. All you talk about is stuff that's never gonna happen. Arus! Oh my gosh, how wonderful! What a big surprise! <laughs> Look, see? Huh? But why? I'm sure the Griffin Fairy left it for you, to thank you for saving it like you did. No way. I've never heard of such a thing. But this is a Griffin's feather, isn't it? It is a feather, right? Well, well, I guess this means my way might just work. <laughs> hey, Griffin! You're the best! You're great! She has a point. I think a way of doing things might definitely work out. I can't believe that, moron, learning that crazy way of flying. <laughs>